Top 8 Symptoms of High Cortisol The fact that billions of individuals globally have high amounts of the stress hormone cortisol is absolutely unknown to them. The difficulty is that a high cortisol level can result in a number of different health concerns, including high blood pressure, the development of belly fat, muscle weakness, and many other conditions. So to understand this, the primary stress hormone, cortisol, is vital because it aids in regulating inflammation in the body to lessen pain and swelling. Controlling your sleep, wake cycle, or internal body clock is helpful. Other hormones, such as insulin, aid in controlling your blood sugar. It regulates various aspects of your metabolism and the process through which your body turns food into energy. The hormone known as fight or flight also helps your body adjust to danger and gives you the energy you need to flee or fight when confronted with a dangerous scenario. Unfortunately, having an out-of-balance cortisol level due to either a high or low level can lead to some serious physical health issues. And because it affects the brain, there are also difficulties with mental health. In order to help you become aware, we'll look at the top 8 indicators of elevated cortisol levels as well as the causes of these symptoms in this video. Additionally, I'll discuss several straightforward solutions and lifestyle adjustments you may make to help your cortisol levels return to a healthy range. When the muscles in your thighs and butt start to deteriorate but abdominal fat begins to emerge, this is one of the most typical symptoms of elevated cortisol. Older adults frequently exhibit this, especially men over the age of 50, where their legs become incredibly thin and stick-like while developing an accumulation of belly fat. The muscle proteins in your legs are being broken down by the high cortisol levels and converted to sugar to provide you with energy. Once this additional sugar is in your blood, another hormone by the name of insulin transforms it into belly fat. Stress and dietary inadequacies are the two main causes of high cortisol, but we'll cover these topics further in a moment. It's a pretty good indication that you have too much cortisol in your body if you frequently awaken between 2 and 3 in the morning with an extremely overactive mind. Because your brain is stuck attempting to solve issues and make plans when you should be resting and sleeping, you could find it very difficult to fall asleep again. I personally went through this a lot before I realized what was going on. Cortisol regulates your internal body clock, so when you have too much of it, your body goes into fight or flight mode, keeping you awake and affecting your sleep. You may be aware of the link between stress and hypertension or high blood pressure. Well, it raises cortisol to do this. Basically, when your body and brain perceive a threat, cortisol is released to constrict your blood vessels, cause adrenaline to be released, increase blood flow, and provide you with the quick energy you require. This enables you to defend yourself against or flee from a lion or a bear, for example, when a dangerous situation arises. This response is quite normal, but if you experience continuous stress for weeks, months, or years, it may become abnormal. This puts a lot of strain on your blood vessels and maintains your blood pressure high for an extended period of time, which is extremely dangerous because it increases your risk of developing heart disease or stroke if you don't control it. On your lips and around your mouth, cold sores are these itchy, tingly sore blisters that can split and hurt, especially when you're eating. You may have seen that cold sores frequently appear when you're depressed or have just recently experienced some stress in your life. Why does this occur, then? Well, cortisol in the optimum doses supports healthy immune function and suppresses viruses like the cold sore virus to prevent difficulties for your body. However, these viruses can come out of remission and develop a cold sore if you just experienced a cortisol surge due to stress or you may not be getting enough sleep. Other diseases, such colds and the flu, also result in the same outcome. Cortisol is overproduced when there is too much stress, which weakens the immune system. Cortisol aids in controlling inflammation throughout the body, particularly in the lungs and respiratory system. Unfortunately, cortisol resistance can develop if you have excessive levels of the hormone over an extended length of time. In essence, the hormone stops acting as it should inside your cells. The small bronchial tubes start to thicken and clog up with mucus and debris as a result, 
and this frequently leads to the lungs being quite irritated. Long-term lung conditions and breathing issues like asthma and COPD may result from this. Cortisol inhalers are frequently prescribed by doctors since your body no longer produces enough cortisol and you need a boost. Anxiety is a state in which you feel unpleasant, anxious, or stressed all the time, as if there are issues you need to address but not enough time to do so. You will always find a reason to worry, even if there is nothing to worry about. This is anxiety and the continuous high levels of cortisol that cause it. Your nervous system and brain are continuously prepared for assault or defense and are in what is known as the fight or flight phase. As a result of this, your muscles remain tense and over time, you may experience persistent pain in your muscles, joints, and particularly the area around your shoulders and throat. I'll discuss how to manage this hormone and switch off this anxious response later in the video. High levels of cortisol or stress may be the cause of your persistent heartburn, acid reflux, and burning sensation in your chest. You see, cortisol disables some of your digestive system so that your energy is continuously directed toward defense or attack. Doctors frequently associate acid reflux with stress because elevated cortisol levels can inhibit the normal synthesis of stomach acid, enzymes, and bile, which leads to an acid reflux flare-up. Finally, since this video is too short to go into great detail for number 8, let me mention a few further indicators of elevated cortisol. When your cortisol levels are high, standing up too quickly can make you feel faint. Because cortisol can cause blood sugar levels to rise, you might already be diabetes or pre-diabetic. You can experience gastritis and stomach ulcers. Cortisol may be triggering nerve issues that are the source of your restless legs. The way that cortisol is influencing your diaphragm may cause you to experience frequent episodes of hiccups. Due to the weakness of your adrenal glands, you may experience hot flashes frequently during or after menopause. Due to the fact that cortisol affects memory and brain function, you might experience brain fog. Because cortisol is causing your blood vessels to narrow, you can have rosacea on your skin. Because cortisol causes the skin to lose its elasticity, you can develop purple stretch marks on your body, especially around your tummy. Additionally, because cortisol weakens your immune system, you can catch more than one or two colds or infections every year. There are blood tests and hair analysis tests that can determine for sure if you have elevated cortisol if you exhibit a combination of the various indications and symptoms we've discussed today. Six causes of high cortisol. The first and most frequent cause of high cortisol levels is mental or emotional stress. The more pressure you experience mentally due to difficult people, work problems, marital problems, etc., the more your nervous system reacts because it believes you are in danger and starts producing cortisol. Lack of at least 7 to 8 hours of good sleep each night, which can lead to a chemical imbalance in your brain and activate cortisol, is another factor in high cortisol levels. Daily alcohol consumption can deplete nutrients like vitamin B1, which raises cortisol levels and causes nervous tension to build up. Similar to overstimulant consumption, excessive consumption of caffeine, coffee, tea, soda, and energy drinks can wear down your adrenal glands and lead to cortisol resistance. Additionally, steroid medicines like prednisone or cortisone can harm your cortisol receptors, causing your adrenal glands to continue producing more and more of this hormone. Finally, the stress that being overweight places on your body will cause your cortisol to rise and your fat cells will begin to release cortisol in an effort to maintain equilibrium. How to lower cortisol? 1. Start ingesting 2-3 to three tablespoons of unfortified nutritional yeast per day. You may put this deactivated yeast on salads, in yogurt, soups, and stews. Your nervous system will be calmed down by the B vitamins and minerals in these flakes, which also help regulate blood sugar levels and cortisol levels. 2. Utilize the 4-6 to six breathing pattern. Inhale deeply and slowly into your abdomen to equal 4, and exhale slowly to equal 6. If you repeat this for only 5 minutes, 
you'll notice very quickly how your muscles begin to relax and that your thoughts begin to become calmer and more lucid. You can activate the phrenic nerve and stop your body's fight or flight reaction by managing your breathing and diaphragm. 3. Reduce your intake of caffeinated beverages like coffee, tea, and soda until you are only having 1 to 2 cups in the morning and no more after that point zero two colon zero zero p.m. Instead, sip calming herbal teas like peppermint, lemon balm, or passion flower, which contain phytonutrients that quiet your nerves and trigger the release of the calming brain chemical GABA. You can also use ashwagandha, a natural herbal medication that aids in your body's stress adaptation, if you like. 4. Start engaging in low-intensity, low-stress activity for at least an hour each day such as leisurely strolling in the outdoors and in nature to increase your blood oxygen levels and elevate your mood. It has been demonstrated that inhaling essential oils from plants and trees can actively reduce cortisol and quiet down your stress response. Sunlight's UVB rays can also aid in the production of vitamin D, which also reduces cortisol. 5. Each day Consume 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 and 20,000 international units of vitamin D3. 20,000 IUs is equal to 0.5 milligrams, therefore, although seeming high, don't panic. Due to its ability to reduce inflammation and strengthen your immune system, vitamin D assists in repairing bodily harm brought on by excessive cortisol levels. Together with vitamin D, vitamin K2 helps your body transfer calcium around so that your bones and muscles can relax and become stronger. 6. Reduce your intake of foods high in cortisol-producing grains, refined sugars, and flour-based products. Replace these processed foods with nutrient-dense whole foods like organic pork, wild salmon, avocados, salad, broccoli, kefir, radish, peppers, and seeds. All of the meals I have stated are nutrient-rich and encourage relaxation rather than energizing the body. I appreciate you viewing. I hope this video was useful to you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this.